I have an update for you guys. Um, I have an update for you guys that I don't, I, Kevin doesn't even know some of the stuff that I'm going to update you guys on um, because I had to text him and I tried to call him at work, but um, he's not at his desk. So basically the last video that I put up was a home tour and the last information that you guys had was that our home was closing on December 15th. That was yesterday and I'm sitting in our um, pretty empty bedroom right now. So it hasn't closed. They, um, they needed a, an extension for it to close on the 18th. Um, it wasn't like we had to give them the extension because they already had 14 days built into the contract. Um, as ex just an extension period, but they needed the closing moved by three days. They needed that because the person that was buying the house, notice that I said was, um, that is, that information's coming up here in a second, but the person that was buying the house, he was a, he retired from the Air Force. Um, and there's lots of, like, I'm going to try to be as, okay. He lost his discharge paperwork. Um, it's called like a DD-214. And when I found out at first that he lost his uh, DD-214, his discharge paperwork, I wasn't sure if they meant, because I wasn't sure that the DD-214 was discharge paperwork. Um, I'm not from a military family or anything like that. So, I, my question was, do you mean that he physically lost the piece of paper, or do you mean that he lost his eligibility? And um, his loan officer, which um, coincidentally is the same loan officer that we used to purchase the home two years ago, um, is super competent and awesome and just great. And, um, you know, he researched and you know, did find out that the gentleman that was purchasing the home was indeed um, honorably discharged from the military, from the Air Force. And um, the, the gentleman actually did lose this piece of paper. So, I mean, there's lots of like funny things going through my head. Um, but I'm not really serious about them, but just kind of in my, like, disappointment, um, you know, extra money that we've had to spend out, um, et cetera, and I'll get to that in a second. But I've had lots of jokes kind of going through my head, such as, like, you know, how scary it is that this person, I think I've mentioned in other videos that I was raised to be very respectful of, um, like military, police, doctors, that sort of thing. Um, so it's just, it was, it's, I don't want to say like the word's not humorous. I don't really have a word for it, but like the joke in my head is it's scary that this person that has retired from our military lost this very important piece of paper. Um, like this, you know, his career it came down to, you know, him being able to get these, I mean, his, not that his career was just about that, but, you know, he had this whole military career, and now at the end of it, he has this piece of paper um, that he could have chose, and so I guess the responsible thing would be to choose to have this piece of paper filed at the courthouse, which some people would tell you that, um, that that's mandatory, that like you have to have that DD-214 filed at the, paper, the courthouse, um, but I guess you don't. I guess it's just like an elective procedure. Um, although, based on my experience now, and probably his experience, I don't know, maybe not, um, you know, I would suggest in the future, you know, if I ever come across someone who happens to say, hey, Ashley, should I file my DD-214 at the courthouse? I would say, Yep, <laughs> because, um, you know, in case you lose it and you need it someday, um, it, apparently it's not always as easy as just downloading it from 
the VA website um, because like right now with it being around the holidays, um, it was going to be, um, they said, possibly around till January 2nd um, until they would be able to get this new paperwork uploaded in, into the VA website. I don't know. There was a glitch, something. I don't know. He didn't have his original. Um, so that's like one of my jokes. And then, you know, another joke is like, just like, I just like kind of fantasize a little bit about like seeing them at closing and, um, you know, just something like, don't lose these keys because the last time you lost something, it cost me $700, um, which is true because, you know, when I paid my mortgage this month, um, our mortgage is $14.75 a month, which includes our taxes and insurance, but it's $14.75 a month. And, you know, with us closing on the 15th, we were supposed to get that back you know, half of that. We were gonna get about half of it back. Um, so then they needed to move it to the 18th. And then, so the second update after that was just like a day or two later, we found out that, um, again, they couldn't just download this piece of paperwork. Again, um, it had to get re-put into the system for some reason, glitch, I don't know, error, scary, um, but, um, so then they, then they, we found out that the closing might not be until January 2nd. Again, we had this backup offer that was supposed to go until, um, December 15th. So the backup offer expired yesterday. Well, on the 14th, which is, I found out on the 14th that it might not close, which is two days ago. I found out that it might not close until January 2nd. And... I actually I didn't but my mom kind of said do you think they're just trying to like back out you know and you have a backup offer so do you want to see if they just want to back out you know so I did I sent our agent a text and I'll just read that to you now um, I just said Kathy, any chance these people are just trying to back out? Scared, money problems, etc. Because if so, we will let them withdraw. Maybe pass that by their agent. And she said, I will run it by their agent, but I don't think so. And I said, okay. And she did run it by their agent. And the agent, you know, they, they contacted me back and they said, no, no, no. That was on the 14th. Okay. Um, also, then I sent a message and I said, this has probably already been thought of, but two ideas. If he has gone to a VA hospital, I believe they would have a copy. Um, also, I've heard that sometimes discharge papers are filed at the courthouse, but that may be only at the election of the veteran. And she said, actually, the agent just texted me and said someone from the closing a turn, uh, someone from the mortgage office left her a message and think that they will have it in three days. She is following up. Um, and then, so, so our agent contacted me this morning, which today's the 16th and said, they want to back out which our due diligence period has already passed. Um, they said they want to back out. And the reason is, is that they feel like it's too complicated and it's just stressing them out. Again, the jokes in my mind are like, okay, you've retired from the the United States Air Force you've retired you know you 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 you've had your career and i know that just being good at one thing does not make you a well-rounded person i i 
I have another story about that um, when it comes to uh, telling you about us moving our furniture uh, or selling our furniture, which we did this past Saturday. Um, because well, that's some of the story. But so I, I acknowledge that just because this gentleman retired from the Air Force does not make him a well rounded person. It just means that he, you know, um, successfully completed a career in the United States Air Force. But again, just being kind of like the injured party here, the jokes, and I, I'm kind of kidding, you know, I'm kidding. I'm not actually, like, I don't actually feel this way, but I'm just kind of letting this off my chest. I kind of feel like it's too complicated for you. Like, you retired from from our military and this is too complicated for you when everything's done except for you jumping through a couple hopes to get this piece of paper that you lost. Um, but I mean, you know, so anyway, here's the text I sent to my agent this morning. I said, question. On the 14th, when we offered for them to withdraw, we still had a backup contract and they did not accept our offer to withdraw. Since everyone agrees he has an honorable discharge and that his loan was approved and the only thing preventing him closing was a piece of paper he says he lost, yet is said to be on the way, is he in default and do we get the earnest money? And she said, I was just talking with my broker and we are filing the paperwork for you to get the earnest money back. And I said, also, they said it was just too complicated, not that they couldn't get it done. Forgot to point that out earlier in my text. And she said, agreed. And then she sent us some paperwork um, So, the paperwork that she sent us is to get the backup offer um, in place. My agent spoke with the backup buyer's agent and said that although our contract expired yesterday um, for that backup offer, they believe that the people are still interested and would like to proceed with it. So, um, you know, just, I think it's going to work out, you know, it's going to work out. I mean, the house is nice and it's definitely priced right. So somebody's going to buy it. Um, yeah, I don't want this video to be too long, so I guess I'll end it there, but I actually have a lot more stuff to update you guys about. So I think I'm just going to make another video right after this video and um, that will be about the sale. So I'll label these clearly um, that this one is an update video and the next video that I make um, is, is going to be about the, the, how the indoor garage sale went if you would like to watch that. So I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.